When I walked into this trade at Zanola Manufacturing in Sunnyvale, California, I actually picked up the trade pretty quick and became the head programmer within six months of walking into that shop, uh, shop foreman after a year. And one of the things that I love the most, besides just machining, besides putting the work in and honing my skills, was taking others and raising their game. So as we got new employees, I took it upon myself to really teach them. So we would take people who didn't have any CNC machining experience and we would train them up and I would be that person. One day, I was working with this guy, Billy. I'm not gonna say his last name and that's not Billy Boyce, it's somebody else. And I know he's watching too. But anyway, I was training this guy and he's awesome. And he was already doing a lot of setups and stuff. And, and we were like, bring it down and do this and do this. And you know, here's all the safety things and stuff. And, and again, I've only got a couple years in the trade. And when we talk about experience, this is something that can happen, right? Because I had experience and I was really good and I didn't personally make a lot of mistakes. But at the same time, I didn't have the right type of experience to truly understand what could happen to those machines? So I was so daring, you know, like a kid running right next to a cliff and not being scared or being on these crazy rides at like an amusement park or something. And they're not that scared because they've never seen death. But an adult is like, oh yeah, get away from that, that ledge right there because one slip or, you know, anything happens, you can fall to your death, right? We have the experience to understand the magnitude of something. So I don't think at that time I had that experience to actually understand the magnitude. So we were like training and stuff. So I was over here and I was running this one. He was running this one. He got everything all set up. He went through all his checks. He went through everything. Again, he had already done many setups. So like I had looked at him and I was like, what's up Billy? You, you got it? You good, man? And he looked at me like a student to a teacher. And he had like a big smile on his face, like appreciation. He's like, dude, this is so amazing. Like, this is so awesome. I got this. I'm beginning to like truly get this, man. You taught me and now I got this. And he turns around and then I'm just like, what a beautiful moment. I'm like the sensei, this is Grasshopper and he just snatched the pebble from my hand like, Boom! Kung Fu the movie for the older generation, you get it. Younger guys, they're like, what the heck is he talking about? But anyway, Grasshopper just took the stone from my hand and I was looking at him and I was just like, dude, this is a beautiful moment, man. And then he just went over there and he just pressed the green button and then boom! Like louder than that. Did that scare somebody? Oh man, like three inch face mill, straight rapid as fast as it could go. Boom, into the table. Like it was like the top of the vice, the hard part. Boom. And I was just like, please don't judge me. But like in that moment, with the seriousness of what had happened and how his face went from a smile to a and the magnitude of it and not knowing exactly what to do, I literally started laughing. Like I started laughing. I was like, oh my God, like, oh my God. Like, oh, $15,000 worth of damage in a second. Oh. So that's, that's the craziest crash story that I have right there. It almost got a downer, right? It was like, oh but it's a serious business. So I just wanna leave you with that. I wanna leave you with, it is serious business. CNC machines can kill you, right? People open those doors, they do this, they do that, and they, they take it for granted, but that, that machine will go through flesh. That machine will kill you. Truthfully, CNC machine is not a hard thing to learn. Mastering it and becoming very good at it that's a hard thing because that comes with experience. That comes with a lifelong learning process of understanding all the little variables, understanding all the things that could go wrong, and then having an attitude where you are proactive in your approach instead of 
reactive because you have that experience. So there's a, there's a lot of guys that, you know, they make the same parts and make this, they make that. And then this guy might make like, you know, 18 bucks an hour, but this guy makes $35 an hour. And this guy's grumbling like, man, I move faster and I do this. Well, it's because experience, you gotta pay for that because that's the, those are the guys that can go in every single day and keep the machine running and not make the mistakes. Not like that, that's, it's a safety feature having that guy at that machine. Right? So that's my biggest point in telling you that story right there is that learn from it, that serious things can happen. And therefore we just have to double check everything that we do. We have to be proactive. We have to be preventative. If you inspect all of it, if you double check all of it, if you, you know, do things a certain way, you will not be making crashes. You will make good parts right? I always tell people like have a rhythm. Like I have a rhythm. If I'm putting in data, I always go top down. I never go bottom up, top down, bottom up, top down. And because somebody can come bother you and then you can be like, wait, what was I doing? So have a rhythm of understanding exactly what you're doing. So if I always go top down, then I'm always going to go down. Boom. And if an instant comes and I'm like, Oh, what did I do? I redo everything. You don't take any chances. You gotta be serious about this game.